Chicago is, is definitely tough. You know, there's always something going on in the city, like gangs and shootings. Somebody get killed every day in Chicago. It's rough and grimy, and it's crazy to say, but I mean, it's just facts. I'm Chase Adams, the point guard from Chicago, Illinois. He either make you or break you. And I'm the definition of hard over hype. Some things you can control, and some things you can't. For me, it's the death of my big brother. I know you're with me every step of the way. Being my six man. I've been known in Chicago like my whole life because I've been playing since I was little. I've always been around Chicago basketball. I've been playing basketball since I was two. So 10 years now. But like nationally, I didn't become known until like seventh grade. Dropped a mixtape with me in seventh grade and it got like 14 million views. When that came out, it got, it got, it got real. Like after that, everybody who had a camera was showing up to see me play. I was packing gyms, bringing cameras, bringing the lights. Before you knew it, every time I walk in the gym, it was a kid asking me for a picture, or people asking me, are you Chase Adams? And it was crazy, it's almost like living the life of a celebrity. I always had a chip for like, you know, just being little and uh, always the smallest on the court. My height has always been looked at as a disadvantage from, from like people from the outside looking in. I'm 5'8". I always used it to my advantage uh, because like, I've always been short, so I never had to adjust my game. But me, I've always been small. I've always known how to be small, and so I'm always gonna and I'm always gonna know how to be small. So God gave me this height, and and you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what He gave me. He gave me a lot of other attributes like speed, quickness, uh, the ability to outthink my opponents. I can score the ball whenever I want to. I can pass the ball really well and defensively I'm, I, can, I can cause havoc. Uh, I just use it to my advantage and I've never complained about it. When I was like younger, like fourth, fifth, sixth grade, you know, we would play our games on the, on, the, on the first court at Cold Park. And then as soon as our game was over, we would run over and watch the big time players like Jabari uh, playing against the other high schoolers. Um, and it was just, it was just like, it would be filled up like it was a high school gym. That was before it was like, you know, super bad. It was like, it was just, you know, we can enjoy basketball outside. It's, you know, it's just so bad. I don't think that uh, people feel comfortable going outside all the time. Like, people don't really go outside and play no more. I mean, we always link up at the gyms and stuff indoors, but, you know, it's so bad out. I don't think people feel comfortable going outside to play anymore. Basketball is one of the only positive things that, you know, people have that could come together and, and, and and be positive with. Chicago is like the hardest city to play basketball in, in my opinion. It's all a lot of people have, and, and that's how I feel. That's like all they got, so they put all they, they work in, and so they put everything they got into it. I guess you can say basketball has saved me, because it's, I don't know what else I can do. It's, keep me, it's keeping me, you know, out the way and on the right track. My brother died in 2015. That was my best friend, like my heart, my pride, you know. He was like a father figure to me, a brother to me. He's actually my profile picture on Instagram. A lot of people ask me about that. Uh, I never really, I never really felt like I had to explain it, but obviously my profile picture isn't me, it's actually my brother. I post about him quite a bit. I think about him every day. He died, what, four years ago now, and I, I promise not a day has gone by that his is the thought of him hasn't gone across my mind. It was just kind of crazy. Him leaving me was the biggest obstacle I've ever faced, and I don't think it would get any bigger than that. I wasn't really playing to my potential on the court. I wasn't in the right mind space, the right head space. Uh, I wasn't going about my everyday work the same. I didn't really, you know, care much about anything. You know, it was just hard, it was tough. But I'm starting to, you know, grow with it. Um, you never get over something like that, but you know, you start to live with it better. So my brother dying, I had to realize that death is a part of a part of life. It's gonna happen. I mean, life happens itself, but you know, learn to live with it and learn to use it to my advantage. 
and I use it as a way to fuel me in instead of a way to bring me down now. Uh, attend Link Air Prep right now. So Link Air is in Branson, Missouri. Coach Adam uh, contacted contacted my, my best friend, Danny, who was also my teammate. And uh, he was recruiting him pretty hard to come to Link Air. And Danny took notice that, that I wasn't really happy with the schools that, I, that, that were recruiting me. So he was just telling me, like, if you come to Link Air with me, we might be able to get something done. You know, I might be able to win. Put Link Air on the map. And so far, it's panning out to be great. It's really dry out there, but I get to focus on basketball and strengthening my faith, which is, you know, two of the main things in my life. Uh, my biggest inspiration in basketball would probably be uh, Jerome Randall and Jamie Adams. They're my big brothers. Now they just, they both just beat the odds. I mean, Division One players under six feet. Uh, I had committed to Towson like early in the year. Then I decommitted uh, mainly because I didn't give my, myself an opportunity to see what else would, what else would surface as far as other schools and things. Uh, no offers yet, but I know things are gonna start to shake up for me because I've been playing really good. You know, just waiting it out and you know, being staying faithful. People don't don't uh, necessarily want a five eight five eight point guard when they could go get a six four or six three point guard. But the thing is, in my mindset, you just got to separate yourself and do something different. Just be a dog and be a killer. There's nothing else to focus on but basketball and, and strengthening your faith. So I've gotten better as a person. Just you know, just diving in diving in my Christianity and my faith. And then I've gotten better as a player, just being in the gym every day, 24-7 uh, as much as possible. Uh, lifting every day. Uh, in the next five years, I see myself in the league. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the league, that's the ultimate goal. And I believe that I'm the only one in, my, in the way of doing that. I don't believe anybody could stop me from, from, from achieving that goal. Check these videos out. I already watched them. They're heat. Heat only. This is what we do. You got to check them out. Check out these videos and subscribe. If you haven't done it, you're on your couch, you're in your bed, you got to subscribe so you can watch all the rest of the videos. Come on, man.